today and today is the official day well i would say tomorrow but today i would say is the official day of my season starting i pulled my seeds out of the fridge just now put them in their little homes new homes right here for temporary till tomorrow till they fall out um, if you refrigerate, refrigerate or especially freeze your seeds, you definitely want to thaw them out. So, um, let's give compliments before we start to the Candyland here. Um, she is definitely growing seeds, a bunch of seeds throughout her. So uh, she'll definitely be for next season. Next season seeds growing now. Love it. All right, let's get in. So what I do is I put the names on the outside of the box so I know exactly what I have inside. So I don't have to root through every single pack in the first bed, Girl Scout. So I want to take the first ones, which is the Girl Scout. Looking pretty good. Um, basically, I already did the Girl Scout. So I picked five of the best seeds that I thought was the best. And, um, of course, marked them. The Girl Scout. And there's the five best seeds I picked. Banana Kush. I wish they were just a little bit darker, but they were pretty hard, so we're going to definitely rock these. So, on the Banana Kush. Since I did not grow these seeds, these seeds came from Gorilla Grower. I might pop more than normal. And 10. So what I'll do is pop the double amount. Help to grow. I had the MD, the Mendo dope out there, and I went back with the same pollen because I took clones from it and I grew the pollen here and I transferred it there. Only reason why I was successful because I was able to transfer it with ice. Because that's why companies really don't tr don't sell pollen because basically by the time it gets to you, it dies from like the you know, wherever it's going. It it's basically gets too hot and kills the pollen. And then, you know, they try to make the seed bank liable. So that's why mainly you'll never see pollen getting sold by seed banks. It's only seeds um, is because of that. Unless they have a really nice, like, cold packaging that you, we can, you can package, you know. It's really not worth it. But here is the MD. And this is, this is, it's Mando Dope. Now there's two, I guess you would say, phenos to the, it's Mando Dope. It's the Corkle side and the Locomotion. And these seeds are the Corkle. It's the Locomotion that has the pink hairs. And the unrevealing plant last year was the, it's Mando Dope with the pink hairs. That was the Locomotion side. Now this is the corkle side. See how it does. These seeds are really, any seeds that are grown outside, especially at a dominant plant, other than some freakish small seeds that are grown, usually they're really good size outside. Growing seeds outside is really good because the seeds end up being really strong. See, let's not forget, 
let's take a little bit of tape before we do the, do these seeds and we'll mark this banana kush. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. All right. For the it's Mendo dope. And five. And these are feminized. So basically I got the regular seeds open. Since I don't grow reg regular seeds, I only grow feminized seeds. So next is the pineapple upside down cake. And I'm thinking it's in here, but we'll move on to the nutter butter. Okay, this is another butter. Not too many seeds, but these were made inside. They came from a clone from a, a dispensary. So I got that, that clone and made seeds out of it. Inside seeds, but they are feminized. So let's hope we can get some outdoor feminized seeds. That's what, that's my new, I'm going to be shutting down the indoor um, seed growing. And I'm probably more than likely going to change it to the indoor flower growing. Because especially with this Candyland and um, a couple other strains that I grew, I'm well, growing inside. I mean, I would really love some rosin of this. <clears throat> but of course... I can't smoke none of this flower here just because I sprayed it with the, uh, I think it's silver bisulfate. I think that's what it's called. But I really can't eat it. I can't smoke it because it can be hazardous. Before we move on again, don't forget, let's label our seeds. This one is the Nutter Butter. Let's make our sign first. Five. You always want to do one seed, one seed at a time, like one strain at a time, put all the seeds away. So you don't accidentally mix up seeds or anything like that. All right, we just did the Nutter Butter. Now what is next? Sunday Driver. There wasn't too many because I did a, a fail on that one. What I did was accidentally grab the Zuki's pollen instead of the Sunday Driver pollen. Pollinated the top, um, nodes with the Zuki's instead of the Sunday driver had to go back wait for the seeds to start and then um the couple the one or two that didn't have any seeds I put the Sunday driver pollen so I'll probably is one two three four five six I will pop all six of these Sunday driver. And last but not least is the pineapple upside down cake, but I gotta put this away.
gotta go search for the pineapple upside down cake. Well, I looked kind of everywhere and I cannot find the pineapple upside down cake seeds. They are not in these packs for some odd reason. I'm actually gonna try to look for the pineapple upside down cake. And if I can't find it, I'll pick a sixth strain by tomorrow when we soak our seeds and put them into some soil. So for right now, we got the Nutter Butter. We got the Banana Kush. Got the Sunday Driver. We got the Girl Scout, and we got the It's Mendo Dope. So waiting for the sixth one. If not, the Pineapple Upside Down Cake, we'll figure it out. How you doing? Here we are again, and this is the start date of my season. April 1st, I put my seed in the water and watch it grow. Um, last year, we put the sprout. Our sprout was probably like this long. We put our sprout in the ground directly. Did wonderful. This year... We'll be transplanting it and we'll be going through that at the end of the video. But first, let's take out some seeds. But before we get started on that, unfortunately, I could not find my pineapple upside down cake seeds. I'm pretty still upset about it, but I did replace them with the purple panty dropper, which the from clone to growing the seeds, from growing the pollen and growing the plant, it grows really good. So I decided to pick that. I was going to grow the raspberry kush because that's one of my favorite strains. But next year, I think um, I'll be growing it next year. So this year is going to be dedicated either to fast growing seeds, the five grass growing, fast growing seeds and um, one for uh, the high THC. So let's start. First thing we do, we'll get our first, we'll get our containers. And this is, as you remember, distilled water with aloe vera. Now let's start with one strain at a time. We'll start with the Girl Scout. Now what we have here is just a little circular container. You open it up, it is aligned with sandpaper. So I will put all my seeds in here, one strain at a time, unless you don't care. Put it in a circular motion, since it's just a circular um, shape, you probably wanted to have circular shape so you can easily just do it in a circular motion, not really bang them around but let them just ride the corners before we drop our seeds we're going to be taking a little pinch of this pure protein dry and we're going to put it in each of these waters so we can have a nice kick start of these seeds Next thing we want to put in is just a little dash of the great white. Just a pinch of each. All right, before you drop your seeds, get in the habit of taking your labels off first. Take your labels off, put it on the container that you're dropping your seeds in and drop your seeds. Okay. Next, this is the It's Mendo Dough. So again, before we open it to drop our seeds, can take the label off mm -hmm. 
Next is the Nutter Butter. Five seeds, Nutter Butter. Depending how good the structure is in your in your little container, I had to upgrade this one and make it better, but you want to always want to count your seeds, unless you have a bunch and really don't care, but if you're doing strains and you don't want to mix them, you always want to check and see if there's any seeds caught in the corners or anything. But this one's put together very well, so there's nowhere to, a seed can hide. There used to be, but not no more. All right. Next, we're going to do the purple panty dropper. And it's the Nutter Butter is the one I'm growing for THC because it's over 30% THC. So that's why I'm growing the Nutter Butter. Everything else is a fast growing plant. So that's why I'm growing the other ones. So let's hope we can uh, beat our record this year. Of course, we say that every grower says that every year. So, so purple panty dropper getting scuffed. There's five. Next, Sunday Driver. That's six seeds. Sunday Driver has six seeds. Last but not least, it's going to be Banana Kush. The benefit I have is I grow my own feminized seeds, so I'm not spending a lot of money and wasting extra seeds kind of like I'm using regular seeds but I'm using feminized seeds and able to use multiple I'm able to grow multiple seeds at once to, to try to pick out the best fast the best uh, vigorous uh, seedling all right there it is all six strains and we're probably gonna leave that throughout the day maybe uh, 12 12 to 14 hours or so but um, I think that's it for this video. I'm just dropping my seeds. I mean, I can't believe it's here. It came so, so quick. Um, one of the things I'm going to do is give you um, what I'm doing next video. So next video is going to be transplanting these and directly into the soil, directly into a pot. I'll be using, I think I have Fox Farm and Pro Mix. I'll mix those together. Then I'll add um, great white, maybe some mycos and some aloe vera um, water. Um, maybe a little bit of more of this um, pure protein dry. I'll put in, mix in some like insect grass and um, probably a couple other things I'll reveal in the next video. But that's what's coming up next in the next video. What we're going to do is put them in the pots, wait till they grow only a couple inches, and then we're going to be throwing them in their final pots out here. And I dialed down my area to April. I can start my seeds in April and finish with success. Um, so hopefully this year we could have these fast growing strains reaching the skies and this super THC buster pack a nice punch, especially when I'm squeezing it. But I think it's only proper to start my seeds for this season and smoke my rosin from last season at the same time. While you that's starting your seeds or more than likely have already started them. Tasty. To the ladies, have a beautiful day and season. To the gents, same thing. Let's kick ass. To everybody, have a blessed day. Peace, honor. And you know, like always, grow happy.